Islanders, honesty is everything, so let's be honest together. I think a lot of us were surprised late yesterday afternoon as the CDC came out and quietly announced that the COVID-19 program for cruise ships is done. It was very simple. It was on their website. I had to read it over and over for my mind to comprehend this is how they're announcing it. This is how they're sharing the news. From the no-sell order in March of 2020 to the conditional sell order in 2021 and many versions of it, to the voluntary program that we saw put in place just months ago, the CDC is now out of all of it. They've returned a lot of the freedom, the power to make decisions and keep passengers safe to cruise lines. Today, we're going to talk about what we know and what we don't know right now on Island Time. A big happy Tuesday to all you Islanders. Thank you so much for stopping by Island Time today. I am Derek, and together right now, let's drop our anchors. Let's take some time and enjoy and relax in the islands as we talk about cruise news and cruising. We're getting packed up. We are cruising on the Carnival Horizon, July the 23rd. We're taking all of you with us. I know I've shared this before. We've got everything packed up. We've got the internet package purchased. So if you want to follow along on our adventure, if you want to see us go live and see what's going on on board, make sure you're subscribed and that you ring that bell to receive notifications as we upload content and go live. How about the news yesterday afternoon? If you're a cruiser, you, you're, you love the cruise industry, you love cruise news, you've been amped up. Uh, last night, I know you spent some time on social media. I know you did. This morning when you woke up, I know you checked to see, have any cruise lines responded to this yet? We're going to cover what we know and what we don't know. First, here's what we know. Late yesterday afternoon, the CDC declared that the COVID-19 program for cruise ships and how to operate safely is done. It's over. That ship, well, it sailed. It's not coming back. Surprising news, surprising timing. We knew they were working on it, but here's what the agency claimed. The CDC determined that the cruise industry has access to the necessary tools to prevent and mitigate COVID-19 on board. They say that the cruise industry is ready. Each individual cruise line is ready to take this responsibility upon themselves to create and enact and practice protocols that keep passengers and crew members safe. The agency updated its website late yesterday afternoon that said this, as of July 18th, 2022, CDC's COVID-19 program for cruise ships is no longer in effect. And this page will no longer be updated. Wow. I mean, almost two years. It's unbelievable. Over two years since all of this started in March of 2020. And here we are. This is how it ends. Think about this. Currently, there's no pre-cruise testing requirement, according to the CDC. Currently, there's no proof of vaccination requirement, according to the CDC. Currently, there's no CDC investigations on board cruise ships that had COVID-19. According to the CDC, the CDC is saying that cruise lines have their own responsibility to make these protocols for themselves. Now, that's not the full story. Here's the rest of the story. The CDC said, we're here with you. We're going to continue to provide guidance to you. We're going to help the cruise industry, but we're also here for cruisers. You can come to our web website. You can see what we recommend that you do before you cruise, while you cruise, and after you cruise. The CDC is expected to list new recommendations, and they will be just that recommendations for the cruise industry in terms of COVID-19 testing and vaccination protocols in the coming days. We have been told that, th that these, this new set of recommendations could be released as soon as tomorrow. And cruise lines are waiting on these recommendations before they make decisions. Carnival has already shared that they are waiting. Royal Caribbean is going to wait as well. It's expected that this set of recommendations will be shared, but also cruise lines will have the ultimate flexibility 
that if they don't want to go by these recommendations, that they can go by their own recommendations. That is the news story here, is that they're getting power back to create their own protocols. I also want to point out that it is a likely scenario that the recommendations that are released are a mirror or a close mirror to what was just in place as requirements. The CDC could come out and the recommendation could be that you get a pre-cruise test. It could be that 90% of passengers are vaccinated. It could be that. So don't be surprised if we see that, but the cruise line will have flexibility to either go by that recommendation or something completely different. The Cruise Line International Association, the CLIA, have been fighting on behalf of all cruise lines to make this happen. Their response is this right here. We look forward to reviewing the details, which we understand will be posted on the CDC website in the coming days. Ann Madison, who's a spokesperson, said this as well. This is an important step forward in the CDC aligning and guidelines for crews with those established for other travel, hospitality, and entertainment sectors. The million dollar question that so many have is what's next? In the short term, not much is going to change these next few days. We cruise July the 23rd, I don't expect anything to change. You better book your appointments for your COVID test. You better have your at-home test. You better be ready. But in the next week, in two weeks, I think things will change. We have to remember, and Cruise Lines will share with us up front that they are obligated to still go by the protocols and policies of the ports of call that we visit. I've posted a link in the description of this video where you can click the link, select the country that you're traveling to, and it will share with you the protocols that it takes for you to go visit that country. Belize, yesterday, on yesterday's show, Belize is the first country to say, we're not going to require a pre-cruise test for cruisers. We're not going to require a proof of vaccination. We're not going to require that you have travel insurance. Belize is the first one to say, you can visit us without a pre-cruise test. You can come. And I'm telling you that other countries are, they're discussing the same things. This state website that I've shared with you below is up to date. It has the most current policies and a lot of attention now focuses to these countries and islands in the Caribbean and the Bahamas to see what are you going to do? Are you going to change your protocols to match that of the United States CDC and cruise line protocols? Or are you going to stay with what you've been doing? I can already tell you, like I said, conversations are going in these countries. Many expect that testing protocols will be relaxed in the weeks ahead. They also think that the vaccine protocols will stay in place. I can see vaccine protocols staying in place for many months and even into uh, the rest of the year. You see what the CDC was doing, right? Used to 95% of passengers had to be vaccinated. Just a few weeks ago, they said, we're moving that from 95% to 90%. You know what the next step was going to be? They were gonna move it from 90% to 85%. So we'll see if cruise lines kind of take this reverse staircase here, going down the staircase to allow more unvaccinated passengers to cruise I think though testing is the first to go. Norwegian Cruise Line has already said last week, we covered this, no pre-cruise test is required unless the country that the ship leaves from requires it. We reported last week, this means nothing from the United States. If you sell Norwegian, the CDC says you have to have it. The news has changed. This week, you don't have to have it. We're looking forward and I bet that Norwegian Cruise Line will be the first cruise line selling from the United States where you don't have to have a pre-test pre-cruise test. Let's see if that happens. Islanders, I hope you enjoy the content today. There's so much that's unknown and that's the reason why you should be subscribed. You should ring that bell to receive notifications when we upload content. We will keep you up to date, as up to date as we can. And we hope that you will enjoy the cruise news and content that we bring you. If you enjoy the show today, please give us a thumbs up below. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Island Time.